and welcome back. We're jumping from checking accounts to, you know what? That's right, savings accounts. I want you all to really know the different types of accounts that banks offer and learn the best way to maximize your money. Okay, savings accounts, what are they? A savings account is a type of bank account where you can keep your money safe and perhaps even earn some interest. Back to that topic of interest again, Seems to be a theme with banking topics now, doesn't it? Most savings accounts out there will offer you some type of return for your money, usually in the form of allowing you to earn interest on your balance. That's great news for you. Remember, when you deposit money at a bank, it's like you're lending that bank your money. Except unlike that deadbeat friend of yours that still hasn't paid you back that 20 they owe you, your bank has to give you your money just about any time that you ask. Plus, if you open an account at a bank where your deposits are federally insured, such as Bay State Savings Bank, you would have protection in case the bank can't make good on your demand for your money. How much protection you have depends on the institution. Bay State Savings Bank, for example, is an FDIC insured bank and also insured by the Massachusetts Depositors Insurance Fund, or DIF for short. That means our depositors have 100% insured if the bank became unable to make good on a depositor's request for their money. Now let's think for a second. Why would someone open a savings account when they could just open a checking account like we discussed in our last episode? Well, a savings account was intended to be used for exactly what its name says, savings. A savings account can help you build up that vacation fund or it can help you save for that down payment on your dream home. Having a dedicated and separate account to safely deposit money into and use at your leisure is the exact point of a savings account, all while hopefully earning you some interest. Remember, if you're comparing different savings accounts and their interest rates, look at those annual percentage yields and shop around to make sure you find a savings account that's best for you. A savings account that only earns interest if you have more than $25,000 in the account might not be the best choice if you only have $3 to your name. Now this is my favorite part about savings accounts. You can have as many as you want. Do you have a couple specific things that you need to save for? Maybe a holiday account, maybe a vacation fund, rainy day money, or most importantly, the emergency funds? You can divide this money up and you can nickname each specific one. When budgeting, that can help you manage your money more easily for specific savings accounts and save, save, save. Last piece of advice for today is do your homework. Make sure that you are in the right type of accounts, that you're aware of the monthly maintenance service fees and such. You want to maximize your savings and be able to save and do more with the money that you deposit. Well, that wraps up our Savings Finance Friday. I hope you all enjoyed it and learned a little about making your money work for you. See you next month for another episode of Finance Friday.